Oh mate, that's disgusting. Instantly. <laughs> It's always an argument, who makes the best cup of tea? So today, we're gonna find out. We're allowed one thing to go with our cup of tea to top it off. <laughs> Let's see who wins! Adam, I have for you my brew. And I've given you a slightly different... Let me just display that nicely there. Oh! And my special treat is an egg custard tart to go along with it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's not a dunkable biscuit. Where are these biscuits from? Germany. Nice. Yeah? Nice. I've got no idea if they're from Germany. <laughs> I like the confidence. It was right. good. Earl Grey is actually one of my favourites. I went through a period of time where I ate a ton of them. So. Ate a ton of Earl Grey's. Uh, eight? Oh. <laughs> Same thing, right? I do love an Earl Grey. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit <laughs> for an Earl Grey. Well, I've got the taste in me. Let's try this cup out, shall we? Earl Grey with milk. Controversial. Not a big fan. That's a real good Earl Grey. You know what? I like that. I rate that. It's good. It's a very good temperature. I'm not going to lie to you. It's banging. I wouldn't really have a cake with a cup of tea, to be honest with you. I'm a bit more of a biscuit man myself. I usually love an egg tart with an Earl Grey, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smashed it. Phenomenal work. Charlie's tea was absolutely perfect. Absolutely loved it. Lovely Earl Grey, perfectly brewed. Uh, lovely little tart on the side, really enjoyed it. I would score Charlie a seven. A lot of people like to be real honest. I hear the word a lot on LinkedIn. Um, what is it? Transparent. That's just not me. In there, I was beautiful to Charlie's face. I told him everything he wanted to hear. Real life. One. <laughs> He's not getting nothing from me. This is a competition and I plan on winning it. I'm not gonna look, but Ross is doing something magic over there. Here you go, my friend. Coming in hot. And the Jaffa cake display. Wow. Lovely sign note. Thank you. I don't know if you can see that. I'm taking that. Um, the perfect Dunkin' biscuit. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? It's a few things I've picked up over the years. Bottom of the barrel tea bags on the go to protect your porcelain cups. You want to pour the milk in first. Put that in there. So one thing I learned at uni, if you don't have a kettle, you can make a tea on a budget. What we say? In it now. Let me know. Bon appetit. Also, tea on the go. I'll give you two. You can have one dry, one wet. Great. <laughs> that is quite hot. I don't know how he's... Heated that up, but that is definitely pretty hot. Warmed in the micro wave. As far as cup of teas go, it's not, it's not ideal, but it's not great. It's got something, it's got a weird twang to this. I don't know why, but a big dunk. Hey, big dunk. They call me Big Dunk Adam. Ooh, there's a nice little shine on it. I don't know if you can see that. See that? Oh. Oh. Oh, mate, that's disgusting. Instantly. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that was nice! Yeah. Mmm. It's actually worse after you've had the Jaffa cake. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, the only thing I've got to wash this down with, but I'm not going to rate this very highly, unfortunately, Ross. Sorry. Ross's cup of tea was, was pretty good. For someone that made it in a microwave, I've got to give him some credit there and some points. But unfortunately, all I can give him today is a four. So after having Ross's tea, um, I thought it was it was it wasn't great. It wasn't exactly what I chose. Jaffa cake, you know, with a cup of tea, it's not ideal really. And also in like a travel cup, I'm not a big fan of it. I want it in a nice mug. Um, so I would score Ross a two. Now we got a quality cup of Yorkshire tea. Here, Sniff. I'm gonna try my brew. I'm gonna love it. One of my favourite biscuits. It's just uh, Yorkshire tea. It's just Yorkshire tea. I didn't get gold. I can't afford gold. As I, said, I just got one custard cream. It's an extra 15p, mate. Let's see what Adam's brew's like. I'm gonna go in blind. I'm not gonna smell it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna look at it. I'm just gonna drink it. Okay, that's hot. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. But it's pretty sugary. I can't lie. I don't know how much sugar you put in there, but it might be a bit too much. Let's give the, the dip in the swirl. The dip in the swirl. Let's have a little look. Nice bit of... Uh, it's perfect. And a custard cream isn't a bad suggestion. I mean, I've got better things I'd rather dunk in my tea, but it's definitely up there. Maybe I should start using a kettle. That is a top quality cup of tea right there. <laughs> Adam's cup of tea was pretty spot on. Nice and sweet, maybe a bit too sweet for me, but the custard cream on the side polished it off. I nearly finished the whole thing. So for that reason, I'm giving Adam a whopping eight.
Adam's cup of tea, what can I say? Um, yeah, it was all right. Uh, not the best. Didn't really appreciate his attitude towards my tea. Uh, I know that's not how this game is played, but I'm quite a strategic guy. So Adam's cup of tea, one. So the results are in. Adam's won. Oh, you're gonna done it.